So we went to Scotia Bank for our mortgage deferral. So let's see how advantageous this deferral for so us. Yung iba nagtatanong if um are we really going to proceed with a deferral or not? How much would be the interest? How much would be the cost? And what would be the factors that could affect our decisions for deferring our mortgage? So, why it happens? Bakit ba tayo nagkaroon ng deferral dito sa Canada? Actually, because in the effect of COVID-19 or what we called as coronavirus. Most people, most mortgage owner had experienced actually um, significant financial loss, right? Either layoff, either um, reduce significant hours on their job, so they might have difficulty on paying off their mortgage or monthly mortgage installment, not be a Maraming factors, quantitative and qualitative, you have to know that, you have to determine if actually it's advantageous to you. So first we'll talk about quantitative. So let's see, we have an example here. Of a six hundred thousand dollars, right? A six hundred thousand dollars of balance mor uh, mortgage. Let's say um, you're just starting your mortgage and a six hundred thousand dollar mortgage. So at a three point five percent fixed interest rate. So I just choose this fixed interest rate uh, for simple illustration. A payment or annual installment of three thousand dollars. So this is net of real property taxes. We will amortize our mortgage and actually amortization is based on effective interest method. So that is your balance uh, list first the interest and then the, um, my, the payment minus the interest that could be the, div, the balance will be related to principal then the, uh, the, should be deducted to your current mortgage. So at the end of the term, let's say uh, 301 this is a uh, monthly okay we get it through monthly amortization so it will be zero so technically you have to pay nine hundred thousand total nine hundred thousand dollars of payment for that six hundred thousand dollar mortgage uh, with an interest of three hundred one thousand five hundred ninety nine so let's see what are the opportunity costs kapag sinabi kong opportunity cost ito po yung the cost that you forgot the cost that has an incremental value in you, incremental or decremental, if it is advantageous. So, advantageous ibig sabihin, do you save money or do you spend more? If you spend more, you have to consider the time value of money. So, what do you mean by time value of money? Time value of money means that um, this is the value of peso right now. Uh, for a value of peso, let's say, uh, 20 years from now of today. So, let's say... The value of one, I mean dollar, let's talk about dollar because here we are here in Canada, sorry. So, a one dollar, a one Canadian dollar for 20 years with an interest of 5% or 3.5%, then it will get your present value, which would be 3.5% on the 20 years. And then you will just put here zero and then the future value of one. So it means that this is the value of one dollar for in 20 years only 50 cents so you should not say oh i will spend ten thousand right now not because you have to factor that value of inflation that value of time value of money the capacity the power of your one dollar to buy in the future so with that deferral here in canada we are allowed to defer at least six months so assuming that you have this mortgage and you have this three thousand dollars of monthly installments then the interest for that is this one for the first year so principal allocated to it one two fifty so this would be your balance then Technically, the interest will keep on decreasing as year goes by. On the six years, let's see now, you have a deferral. So you don't have to pay. You don't have to install. You don't have to make an installment payments. But interest will still be accrued. 
Accrual means that money is earned regardless of being paid. That is, income is or expenses is recognized when occurred. So that's GAAP or the Generally Accepted Accounting Principle with regards to accrual. So technically, you're able to save six months right so equivalent of six months of three thousand dollars that's eighteen thousand dollars but accrual the capitalization of interest will do so in the first month that you defer your money or you defer your installment let's say this is your interest one thousand seven hundred nine for three point five percent fixed interest so your total debt now is 587 this 587 will now accrue another interest on the next month on the second month that you deferred your debt your mortgage installment so the interest would be 1714 1718 on the third fourth and 1733 on the sixth month of the apparel period so i get an incremental interest so with that six months you only have an incremental uh, incremental interest of 129 and 65 that's an additional income by the bank so pro actually do you must only have an income to you of seven thousand eight hundred two right but you you are now accruing a ten thousand three hundred twenty seven roughly but the increment one hundred 29.65 so that's an additional for your interest but 30 years after or 20 years after after your mortgage get paid off then you must have this incremental interest of 8790 remember i told you that any incremental you have to consider the time value of money and actually that 8790 that we had calculated right now will only be valued as 1000 335 and 26 for that period of 25 years so that is only you spend actually the real value of the money that you're going to spend and what will happen since you're deferring and the interest is capitalized for six months then you have to increase your payment and the term will not be lengthened most of the lenders i heard that some lenders will also lengthen the the period but in this scenario we'll just speak about increasing our mortgage installment our monthly payment we will just assume on that okay we'll just have one situation so with that we have to increase from three thousand to three thousand ninety so that's only ninety dollars it's not, it's not affect your cost of living after that six months deferral period for me okay it won't affect it's only ninety dollars what is ninety dollars every month it's just that sacrificing your tim hortons if you have a starbucks or starbucks twice a day or starbucks in uh, four times a week you just have to cut it off to twice right so if the same way you'll become healthy so your total payment now will become nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred eighty eight for that 301 monthly installment so your principal instead of 600,000 will now become 609,000 to the effect of actually the interest that you are having that you capitalized. So there are a lot. So that's quantitative. Now, how to analyze? Analyze now. Your total payment for the current mortgage if you'll not do the deferral is 900,000. Your incremental cost obviously is only 9,988. So your interest, instead of 301000 it became 310000 to the effect of that, that deferral because those period also earn interest. So we are in the compounding interest, okay? But now how much is your opportunity cost? 
this is your incremental but actually you save from stress because this eighteen thousand dollars you can use for remittance abroad to the help of your family who must be or who might be affected with the covid 19 as well and i don't have to worry on that at least i have money and i don't have to find stress i have something to use right for my family back home or any purchases here panic buying for food you can use it to buy um or even you can buy clothes right you can buy food in costco you can buy food in metro you can buy anywhere in the chinese store and have a panic buying so you can use that money and that's the purpose of the government actually that you have something to use if you are uh, because you intended to stay home you don't have to worry for your mortgage you don't have to worry that it will be foreclosed now quantitatively so you have able to save that eighteen thousand dollars three thousand times six months what if you will use that eighteen thousand dollars to pay off your credit card debt because you don't have to worry you said oh i have savings um i still have income i have e employment insurance i can still pay my mortgage i can still pay my mortgage of three thousand dollars because i still have savings at the bank and i don't want to in cure any interest but you have a credit card balance if you have a credit card balance let's say you have thirty thousand, and you have decided to pay it off of eighteen thousand, and that credit card could have interest of nineteen point ninety nine percent if it's on the bank, right? So nineteen point ninety nine percent of eighteen thousand, you actually save an interest of three thousand five hundred ninety eight and twenty dollars during that month. How much is your interest only? Remember, I told you, do not get the whole interest that you paid. Just get that incremental and must be present value the present value of your incremental interest is only one thousand three hundred thirty five and twenty six dollars your opportunity cost is two thousand two hundred this is the money that you save from paying off the credit card due to deferral What if you will decide you have money, you have the capability to pay because you save a lot, you still having an income because you have a good company, you receive an employment insurance. Your total cash flow that you save, let's say is 18,000. And you will decide that you will invest it to a certain portfolio, retirement portfolio. Retirement portfolio, uh, when I say retirement portfolio, it could be on the stocks, right? Either direct investing. It could be indexes. It could be ATF, exchange traded fund. It could be real estate even. It could be a real estate Investment Trust Fund or let's say on the mutual fund. So mutual fund, remember that any stocks, any indexes, any ETF, you can also, you will be the one putting it in mutual fund. Um, of course, you can also have the right to put it in GIC, although it only have a smaller interest. So it depends. It depends on your actually your portfolio it, it depends on your risk appetite on what investment you're going into so you have this eighteen thousand that is deferred by your mortgage and you're going to put it on the investment because you have you don't have problem financially on paying it off so let's say a five percent rate of return and for a period of 25 years you have an investment now of $18,000 and you're going to put that money. You will invest that money that you save from mortgage deferral at a 5% rate of return investing for 25 years. So let's say you're 40 years old right now and you'll get that money at the age of 65. So the future value of that money or the present value using with that formula is $261,301.73. So is that a good one? 
Yes, right? So why not differ? So you have somebody, a member of your family, uh, have a financial difficulty, but you can still pay that mortgage. Why use that opportunity, right? I always say this. Use, that uh, use any crisis to have an opportunity. An opportunity to save more. Pay off your credit card. Or wish to another investment. It depends on you. It's your money anyway. Now, cash or you can have a stress relief of your income, right? You can pay off your utilities such as water, electricity, gas, and more, and telephone services, your food, your remittance abroad. Or you can have a renovation on your house. So you might use it for renovation of your house. And of course, when you have that renovation, of course, market value of your house would be higher. So once it become higher and then you might sell from a 600,000 a house you might be able to sell it let's say for a seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in just a year so all things constant no penalty consideration you have that seven hundred fifty thousand because of your renovation how much you only uh pay for that interest you only have an additional interest of let's say nine thousand right so you have that additional interest of nine thousand yeah, yeah, you have that increment without the present value consideration of 8790 But you have, because of that renovation in just a year, you're able to increase the market value of your house at 650000 So you already earned, you already won $50,000. So how much is that? What if it will become 700000 then? So that would be big, correct? And yes. Um, there will be a requirement by the bank. The first requirement is when we go there and we talk about it, my Scotia Bank is if we have experienced a financial difficulty because of COVID, if one of our, if either me or a member of my family had um, experienced financial difficulty because of this coronavirus, because of this crisis that we have in right now, which we actually have, because one of us, one of our members of the family had a uh, financial difficulty, get laid off because of COVID. So if you will ask me, yeah, I will do the deferral with that um, analysis, quantitative and quanti uh, qualitative, of course, stress-free, right? So we can use that money and always use the opportunity to save. Uh, so thank you guys and have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to for have another video on the upcoming um, topics or anything that I could talk about investment, anything that you could book about personal finance or anything in under the sun. Thank you and have a good night.